Hello and welcome back audience to the video. Today we're doing the Wheel of Thousands and I'm gonna go through my stuff that I'm using real quick. Um, Tether. Uh, Tether is a really 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 awesome class for this nightfall especially if you want to do a high score nightfall. This is the most like this is the best class to just use in this nightfall. Um, my guns, um, honestly, uh, as long as one of them is so, like, uh, my secondary is a solar, I'm good with that, and that's just for one reason, that, that would have been something if I do a high score run, or I'm gonna show you something else in the run later on, where you might need a solar weapon, but in the run that I'm doing, I'm not gonna need it, but anyway, I'm just using two, uh, guns that will give me just special ammo, and obviously heavy, because I wanna play with heavy only. Um, for my helmet, uh, this is a thing that you guys might want to focus on. Like um, every time I'm doing a run, probably on my helmet, I got something that's gonna give me, um, that's gonna work towards my super more. In this case, it's um, heavy weapon kills. So uh, that's heavy lifting here. That's why I got my helmet. So that's a great thing. Machine gun reserves, amazing. Heavy ammo finder, like I said, you always just need one. Don't have two on them, because you're not gonna get any more than that. And as a matter of fact, it might even work um, in a negative way for you to get less, so um, uh, just one, one's more than enough. Uh, chest plate doesn't matter, all that matters for me is this part here, the arc damage resistance, because most of the enemies do, do arc damage. Um, and I'm gonna also increase arc. Uh, then obviously Orpheus Rig because I'm playing Tether uh, and my cloak uh, machine gun reserves. So for the Nightfall card, you could like you could put this even lower, but there's no point in doing that because as a 650, so if you're lower than 650, it's a different story. But if you're 650 and you're playing lower than 60, it doesn't really help you out in any way, um, except for. AI might not play any smarter than they're playing. I don't know about that, but um, as for where DPS standing, um, where you take damage, it's not gonna do any better. Um, 50, 50 light levels above your um, above the um, activity you're doing is the max. Anything above that doesn't really work. So 60 is what I'm gonna play on. Um, arc Cinch, Heavyweight, um, momentum, <clears throat> well, I probably, you probably don't really need momentum in this one. I just need a perk to put in there um, to give me more uh, points. So basically that's the reason why momentum and match game. Well, this is honestly the easiest nightfall ever where everything is arc except for two solar shields. And even there's even a weapon there with solar in the nightfall for you to take down the shields. But that was the reason for me to put a secondary as a solar. But yeah, let's move on to the run. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, moving on with the run. I'm going to say this straight away in the beginning. There's a good run and there is... Well, I'm not going to say a bad run. A, a, a yeah, it's, it's actually not that good, the, the, the other run. In one run, you'll face knights only. And in one run, you'll face a wizard. And a wizard and a shrieker, which can be bad. Like, they don't give you a lot of points, and Shriekers are overall just annoying. Um, also, I'm not gonna speedrun it, so we're gonna take down all the ads up to the boss. The reason I'm saying up to the boss is if you play the boss the right way, that's like one third of all your points that you make in the whole nightfall right there. But if you one phase the boss, obviously you lose those points, but we're gonna lose those points anyway. So start off here. Uh, just try and memorize these ads, like three on your left, four on your right, including a knight, three snipers, one right, two left, and you're good to go. Um, don't, don't, you, like, by all means, use your heavy. Uh, no need to save heavy in 100k. If you're doing a, a solo high score run, and it's, it's pretty much possible to do the 300k solo on this one, and I'm definitely gonna give it a try. Um, if I get some time, to, uh, yeah, like I definitely want to play Anthem in the weekend, but I'll, I'll make some time actually to try and get a solo through and can this one because it's it's very possible. Um, so yeah, the way you're gonna see your good or bad run, and I'm actually stopping right here in my nightfall just to show you guys, is right here where I'm showing my sniper now. Is if you see a shrieker right there, that's a bad run. You might as well want to take and leave because that's not the run. You're looking for the place need to be empty, no shrieker there. 
and that's your golden run. That's like that's a really easy run. And from here on, um, yeah, basically heavy heavy will do everything for you. If you have heavy lifting on your helmet as well, just like me, uh, you will notice the difference in how fast you get your uh, super back. And especially if you're gonna do a solo high score run, like not 100k, but you're probably looking for 250k or above that, um, it's gonna be very, very helpful on the boss. So um, grinding this can be easy. Just go on for the, um, you know, in the Dreaming City, do the story missions, do your raids, because it's a raid that can give you um, the Dreaming City uh, stuff or the Scorch of uh, uh, the Past. That's also a good raid to go and find those good perks on your, um, like on your uh, armor. But yeah, moving on from here, so once you're done with this part, um, basically this part is also always guaranteed, you know, um, there's a four and en five enemies straight in this room, and uh, one of them is a knight with, uh, again, arc shield. Pretty much everything is arc. Um, and the only way you'll ever see a solar shield is if you have the shrieker run, or if you have this run, but you're playing the boss out for all the points. That's, um, that's basically, it's gonna be one part on the boss stand where he's gonna spawn in two wizards. But no biggie, because you'll have a, I'm not gonna advise a shotgun, I'm gonna advise a pulse rifle. And for very good reasons, because in the end, I'm gonna show you a spot, and if you stay in that spot, um, it's impossible for the boss to even hit you. Like, he'll, he's never gonna hit you, not with his body at least. Uh, the only way he could hit you is um, when he's doing his solar attack, but also, that's not going to be a problem because there's a good way to hide. Once you clear these ads, this is guaranteed the spot you want to walk and, and you'll see why Tether is so good. So you stay right here in this corner where you can see her. And the second that she's done with talking, just jump up and Tether right where right, Tether. You pretty much get all the ads. Um, try and take him down with a, a primary or secondary because he, like, like you see there, just a heavy drop for me and that was a good thing. Turn away left, easy kills again. You should just um and you'll pretty much get your tether back and at this point if you clear left and right three knights will spawn in the middle again easy kills and also you'll get your um super back uh, once you kill those knights because they're arc shields um grab the javelin and the reason i'm grabbing the javelin not killing them with guns is the javelin can drop me heavy as you just saw there like if i'm killing them with the javelin it will drop me heavy so i'm just trying to grind my heavy again here and uh, not and not focusing too much. So I think if you leave enemies alive and you hit the javelin first um, in the middle, uh, it will automatically kill all the ads. So no chances of getting heavy. So if you're low on heavy, don't do that. But just kill the ads. Again, this is a very easy room. First one is right here. And basically, you could skip these ones that I just shot because they're not a big problem. Just tether straight away. I'm tethering now the knight, and you just tether every single thing in the room now. And if anything's gonna spawn, it's gonna happen from, from the back. It's gonna be a bunch of um, curse rolls. You know, easy snipes out there just to get heavy again. And as you can see, just a couple of them were I just stuck here. So yeah. Again, like these these rooms are so like this is my favorite nightfall to be honest, just to do it. Um, it's not the best nightfall to to speedrun or grind, in, in my opinion, for me, because the loot isn't it's just a transmat, you know, it's <laughs> I wish it was a gun or something, that would have been so awesome. Um, but that's that's also the reason why I'm uh, I'm just trying to show you guys every part. A tether here is uh, very perfect because you have ads right and left. Keep, keep in mind, like I'm standing in between these pillars, but I'm making sure that the pillars kind of cover me from left and right. So I'm not standing exactly in between them, but more behind them. Like not a lot can hit me right here. And once you do that, just jump again, tether again. Go in this straight away and pick up the Valkyrie and then just smash the knights. Because there's going to be uh, three knights around you. Also on the on my left side, there's a knight with a shield. He is the um, wanted enemy. Uh, don't even bother hitting him with the um, javelin because his shield is solar, uh, arc, and the javelin is solar. So it won't even affect his shield. So don't even bother about that. Just jump around with the javelin, kill all the ads around you. And the best way to basically kill this knight is uh, like I just took a shield off with my heavy and then start hitting him with the javelin Which is pretty perfect then because yeah, his shield's already down so it doesn't matter at this point point. And 
don't probably don't do this on a, a high score run because if the handicap is any higher, um, his arc bolts can, like this, uh, like if he starts shooting at you, he could kill you. So not gonna advise you to just finish him with your heavy in a high score run. But in a hundred k run, by all means, go for it because uh, it won't matter. Um, this part very important. Once you pick up the javelin again, straight away drop it because you want to tether but go in this before you tether so the ads in front of you don't shoot you and you want to tether up top it's for the, um, the guys are gonna run down now uh, if possible sniper mount uh, right there I had an arc shield so I had to shoot heavy um, and I'm pretty sure I already saw a brick dropping so I didn't like I didn't care at this point anymore I was like yeah I'm fine for heavy if you're running with 250 heavy or something uh, 200 heavy you're good uh, that's good enough to just one face the boss with the Thunderlord. Right there in that corner, remember there's always one knight, and no matter what you're gonna do, he's basically never gonna go downstairs, so he's gonna wait for you up top. Also, we're running now to the boss to save time, don't reload your weapons, just keep running. Um, the reason why is once we on the boss, the boss is doing his animation and you have all the time in the world to just reload all your weapons that you have to. So basically you take your time. And don't use your dodge, because uh, if you want to, you can use it on the boss while shooting with the uh, machine gun and then to reload quickly you can use your dodge. So um, those are just a couple of small things. So right here I'm standing in the middle. If you stand on top of this, the boss can never hit you if he's going through the ground. Like, it's impossible. He will never hit that thing. And basically where I just um, done my emote is where you want to hide if he's doing a solar attack. Because then again, it's impossible for him to hit you. Um, right now, I am one facing the boss and I, I really understand this part that some of you might be like, okay, I'm not seeing everything on the boss and you're right about that. Um, in a high score run, I will definitely, definitely talk about it again for the boss fight. Um, because this boss fight goes in like, I'm pretty sure in like four or five phases if you want to get the maximum enemies around you to maximize your score as best as possible. So I'll definitely do that. But for now this is just a one phase because we're looking for a 100k only and that's it. So yeah, before the boss comes in for his last stand, that's basically the only ad he spawns in. If you just got him to, um, uh like to nothing uh, where you can't kill him anymore. So yeah, on this point it's just easy peasy, just kill him. And again, uh, I'm tethering, I'm throwing my nade on this place, because this place is the only place you want to remember for the boss fight. It's like the most important place in the in the whole game. And as long as you're playing with tether, it's really hard even for the adds to group up on you, because the adds spawn in such a large number in this boss fight that you will get your tether back, especially with heavyweight lifting. You will get your super back every time. So, um, yeah. This is a 100k run. I hope you guys have fun with it. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video.